Tom, uh, a disappointing evening. Um, where do we start with that one? Um, I think we start with the fact that the boys are extremely disappointed. Um, after the way we started pre-season, the first four um, Betfred uh, Cup games, we passed the ball well, we were dominant, and the last two games we feel like we've let ourselves down, let the fans down, and just a message to, the, to those out there that are going to be watching this that we're really hoping to put it right on Saturday, and that's not a performance that we will be happy with it all, and we know that the fans aren't happy with it either. It is something, it is a contrast from the early games that you see. Was it a different mm. style of play from the opposition or what do you put that down to? Yeah, I think um, I think teams have realised that if they're going to try and play football against us, um, they're going to find it difficult. We've got a lot of good footballers in the team. Um, but when teams want to come and play a, a more direct type of game, we've got to man up to the physical task and um, and dominate the game in, in that aspect and earn the right to play. And I know people have heard that before, but... You know, we've got to win the headers, the tackles, you know, and uh, and today we didn't quite do that. And it's cost us, really. I don't think we deserve to be a goal behind when we were, though. Is that fair to say or not? I think so. Um, I think we're the team that we're looking to try and play in the right manner. Um, and as you know, when you concede against teams like, like Livingston with the direct style of play, they're going to put, if they didn't in the first place, put 10 men behind the ball and make it extremely difficult for you. And with the um, with the three imposing centre halves that they had, um, and the bank of five that they put in midfield, it was difficult to play through them or over the top of them. So we needed to stay patient. We got a good goal through James Cragen, and then I think we had the better chances without playing the stuff that we know we can, and we got done with a sucker punch really in the in the closing stages. Opportunities there for Falkirk to to win this game as well, weren't there? Yeah, and I think that's the the only real positive that we can take from the game is that on another night like St Mirren in the first half if we take our chances and it's a big if but if we do we should be 3-4-1 to the good and uh, when it's not been a particularly good performance um, I think that is a positive and we'll we'll draw from that and think if we can take our chances then we might give ourselves a better chance of, of adding to a, a goal lead with a, a good performance. It was obviously a new look Levy team coming back up into the championship this season. Uh, does that game tonight in the Cup give you any food for thought for the league games coming up against them? I think it's a wake-up call really to the boys. Um, the problem is, as I said before, you've got you've got to earn the right to play and um, we want to play high-tempo entertaining football. And I think the Betfred Cup games was maybe, uh, maybe let us feel that we could go and dominate the game from the start. Um, you can't you can't question the boys' effort. You know they ran themselves into the ground tonight, but we've got to be a little bit more savvy, um, less naive, and learn that teams aren't going to allow us to play our football right from the off. We've got to dictate physically, and then take the ball and, and let that do the work. What can we what can we put right for Saturday then with the Dumbarton game in mind? I think it's going to be very much the same. I think Dumbarton will have watched that and thought that um, if they play long, direct and nick a goal, then they can make life difficult for us. So the only way we can combat that is by a quick start, um, getting in, in Dumbarton's faces, and um, and when we do get the ball, moving it quickly. Um, and I think maybe that was something we, we lacked tonight, that real speed of passing and, and directness at times. you know. And uh, once you get a team on the back foot, it's very hard for them to, to drag themselves out of that. And uh, as long as we start quick, I think we'll be OK. And if we, if we can move that ball quickly, if we can mm -hmm. get that speed of passing... Confident that we can get a positive result and send the fans home happy on Saturday. Yeah, most definitely. We've, as I've said before, we've got fantastic footballers. If we can couple that with the grit and determination that I know is in the dressing room, because we last year we we dug out results from places where I'm thinking, you know, it's going to be tough, it's going to be hard, one 0 down, two one down, and we still come back to win. And um, I know we've got it. It's just finding it and uh, and bringing it out for next week. Fingers crossed, we can. Tom, as always. Cheers. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Lewis. Cheers. Perfect.